Hello and welcome to my review of the Mars Pattern Warlord Titan Apocalypse Missile Launchers. Wow, what a mouthful. They really are. I mean, they're, they're pretty chunky anyway, so they would be a mouthful. But these are one of two currently available carapace mounted uh, weapons available for the Warlord Titan. The entry fee for that model is about a thousand pounds so um, in order to to get these um, and use them to full effectiveness of course unless you want to use them for scenery you're gonna have to buy a Warlord Titan. Yes there are whole kits there are whole big full models that cost less than this pair of weapons of course there are um, but we're talking about a Titan we're talking about the, the largest Titan that they uh, currently make I have my fingers crossed, look they're right here, they are crossed, um, that Forge World will Power Ranger supersize the uh, Adeptus Titanicus range of uh, new carapace mounted weapons for the Warlord Titan very soon. Hopefully within this year that would be fantastic, uh, but the weapons I'm really looking forward to uh, for the carapace um, would be specifically the Gatling Blasters. Um, I would love a pair of Reva Gatling Blasters on the carapace. The other weapons, not so much. There's twin uh, Vulcan Mega Bolters, which give you an awful lot of DACA. 40 shots per twin Titan Mega Bolter, um, giving you a massive 80 shot, because that counts as one weapon profile. You can pick two of them, 80 shots at uh, a 72 inch range is absolutely horrific and is undoubtedly strong competition for these Apocalypse launchers or even the uh, Reva Laser Blasters. Now, these are cheaper than the uh, the other uh, option, uh, the Titan Laser Blasters, which are £121, so you're saving £11 already. Um, I'll go through the rules and things for them in a moment, and I'll also put them on the Warlord Titan. So yes, although this is a review of the Apocalypse Missile Launchers, you will see a fully built, fully painted uh, Mars Pattern Warlord Titan, uh, which is fantastic. So how were they to put together? An absolute joy. They were really, really easy, straightforward. My favourite part was, was giving them a bath. Um, seriously, it was uh, dabbing a little bit of uh, super glue on the, the bottom of each of these missiles and um, putting them in. It seems a little bit fiddly, but once you get the hang of putting things in holes, it's like riding a bike. You never really forget, and you get quite adept at it at, uh, in a short space of time. I've put all of the missiles in the holes uh, just because I like that. Like the feeling. It's very therapeutic to just rub your fingers over some pointy missiles. It's very therapeutic and calming uh, for me to stroke my fingers across firm points, but the choice is yours. Uh, you can just put one um, firm tip in there if you wish, or uh, you can leave them all out and just have it blank, but I wouldn't advise you to do that, unless you're going to drill uh, very deep down to give the impression that the, the missile racks go all the way back. Or you can just leave them without the missiles in, as if, they have, uh, as if the Titan has completely spent all of his missiles uh, and fired them at, a, at an enemy. But they are identical. There's no left and right. They are both um, one and the same. Uh, they both have exactly the same amount of detail. I uh, did mess up a little bit because I put the missile launchers uh, a bit too erect in the old angle. So I've um, lowered them to a more flaccid um, angle, uh, which and suits the uh, Warlord Titan very well. She's much happier uh, with these uh, at a newer angle. And sometimes it takes a while to get that perfect angle. But anyway, I digress. Um, these missile launchers are absolutely awesome. They look epic. You could use them in scenery. Um, you could put them on a, on a uh, weapons turret maybe, or build something in, into your current scenery to, to accommodate them. Uh, but yeah, on face value, you could say that they're 55 pounds each, which is about right for like a, a tank sized piece of um, weaponry. Uh, they're definitely a huge imp improvement over the um, Reva uh, Apocalypse Launcher, which is right here, which I think is as ugly as anything. Um, it doesn't have nearly the amount of uh, detail, the nuts and bolts, the, um, it shares some of the uh, venting there, uh, but I much prefer the um, attachment options with the pistons to lower it and close it into place. I think this is a bit more cumbersome, but, uh, but there we go. Uh, it worked well on the Reaver. Uh, I don't see them changing this uh, design anytime soon though. Um, but that gives you an idea of the sizes at least. Um, a useful bit of information is that the Reaver missile launcher only has 20 missiles, whereas the Apocalypse launcher has 24 per uh, silo. Um, so I don't know if that means anything to you. 
and uh, in terms of the prices this is about the half the price of um, this dual kit another thing i will say is uh, i was very impressed with the instruction guide i always have to big up these um cad uh, instruction guides because they're awesome and um, they're in full color and they just make it so much easier and uh, and definitely gives you a sense of um quality uh with these because Fortuary could have just not put the instruction guide in at all because they're very, very uh, straightforward and uh, easy to build. And it also gives you a little idea of what uh, a Wardour Titan would look like um, with them on. While we're here, we might as well do a few size comparisons with other models. Um, so I've got my tried and tested models as, as usual. Um, we've got a Legacy Space Marine on the left. Uh, we've also got Sly Marbo in the middle and a Primaris Space Marine right here on the right. Um, as you can see, the missile launcher is completely dwarf any normal um, infantry sized uh, units with the missiles themselves being probably longer than a space marine and definitely bigger than their heads. I'll go through the rules uh, in a moment but first of all let's have a look at them on a Warlord Titan. Before I show the Apocalypse uh, missile launchers uh, this is just what the Warlord Titan looks like with, with the Warlord Titan laser blasters. Um, they're immense weapons, a decent amount of range but they're way shorter range than these Apocalypse launchers. And there you are. There are the Apocalypse missile launchers. Uh, they look very, very stunning. Um, they're a lot longer range than uh, the laser blasters and their main purpose is to strip the void shields off of uh, war other warlords and other battle titans from long range and then, into get and then get into, as a closer range, with those bellicosa volcano cannons and annihilate them with precision kill shots. But Super, what are the rules for them? I hear you ask me. Well, this is my part of the review where I will go through the rules. So the 40k rules, Apocalypse Missile Launcher is a range of 24 to 360 inches range. Um, that means it's got a minimum range there of 24 inches. It's the same uh, range as both the Incinerator Missile Bank and the Mori Quake Cannon, which basically means that those missiles right there are double the range of the big Bellicosa Volcano Cannons. So again, if you're going up against Titans, from a long range at least, these are a must. You get 12 shots per missile bank, and their strength is 7, AP minus 2, and a damage of 2, and this weapon can target units not visible to the bearer. So that gives it um, sort of equal footing with the um, Nemesis Warbringer, because although that um, Quake Cannon is a ridiculous 480 inch range, um, at least once this Warlord gets in range of the 360, it can let rip with uh, you know, 24 strength 7 shots, um, and it doesn't need to see the Nemesis for that. There's nothing stopping you in-game from calling it an incinerator missile bank. It keeps the same range, but it just loses a couple of shots. It goes down to heavy 10, and it loses a strength at uh, 6 instead of 7. And I would pick this over the Apocalypse Missile Launcher if you're going against a lot of infantry, because against infantry, the number of successful hits roll for the weapon is double. So if you do, for whatever reason, get 20 shots that hit, well, it's possible because the ballistic skill is 2+, plus. but if you do get uh, 20, you're now getting 40. Um, at a 360 inch range, which is ridiculous. Units attacked with the weapon uh, do not gain any bonus to their saving throws for being in cover, and the weapon can target units not visible to the bearer. So again, if you take these as incinerator missile banks against infantry, there is nowhere to hide. Um, this Warlord Titan will be able to sniff out the infantry from a huge range, and they don't get any cover saves, which is important, especially for the weaker infantry because of this thing's AP minus two. How do both of these sets of missile launchers um, compare though to the Reva Laser Blaster? Well, the Reva Laser Blaster is, is a lot shorter range. It's just over half the range of the Volcano Cannon. So if you were to pick those Reva Laser Blasters, you're going to have to be using, you're going to have to be depending on that 180 inch range of your uh, Bellicosa Volcano Cannons against other Titans. And if they've already got Void Shields, that could be a problem because another Warlord Titan will get the um, 3 plus uh, sort of invulnerable, say, Void Shields against your um, Volcano Cannon uh, shots. Yes, they have D6 each, so it's a possibility that you get 12, but it's also a possibility that you only get 2. So that's why it's worth getting as much damage as possible from a longest range with the Apocalypse Missile Launchers. Where the Reaver Laser Blasters come into their own is when a Titan's already damaged um, and the Void Shield save is very low. It's a 96 inch range, a macro 3D3, so there is a possibility there of getting 18 shots at strength 10, AP minus 3 and a damage of 2D6. Again, that damage 2D6 it has a potential of possibly getting the same number of damage as a Bellicosa Volcano Cannon. However, 
um, any wound rolls of sixes automatically inflicts additional D3 wounds. So what you're missing out with these Apocalypse missile launchers is just the sole number of wounds that you can inflict. Yes, there's a high potential there of getting 24 hits, but the laser blaster, again, you could get 18, and the damage is just so much more. It's 2d6 damage as opposed to, to two. So if I was against another opponent and uh, they had more smaller titans, I'd go for the Reaver laser blasters. But if I was against an opponent that had a nemesis or another warlord um, with uh, yeah laser blasters, I'd go for maximum range and use these Apocalypse Missile Launchers to strip away all of the Void Shields. So there you go, uh, that's my full review and rules review of the uh, Warlord Titan Apocalypse Missile Launchers. I can't wait to give you reviews of all of the other Carapace weapons that Forge World have cooking in their factory. I'm sure uh, we'll be getting uh, the others in the not too distant future. If you have enjoyed this video, please do uh, use the Element Games affiliate link in the description below where you can save yourself 25% off your Warhammer goodness. What's your favourite Warlord Titan Carapace weapon? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects. Quite a horrific piece of weaponry. Uh, and when I first saw the, the images of this, I thought, wow, they, they are some big, big weapons. Um, but hope those size comparisons have helped. 